What can you tell us about the challenges that Israel is facing now, fighting an army, if you will, uh, with no uniforms? It's, of course, not an organized army. Interspersed with civilians in this densely populated area, you've actually experienced conditions like this, General. Yeah, um, you, the Desert Storm a conflict against Iraq um, was much more expansive. In other words, we're dealing with the breadth and depth of an entire country, um, in, yes, as right. was the intensity. Um, we're flying 3,000 sorties a day, um, over 1,250 actual attack sorties a day, um, which is a lot of application of force. But one of the challenges that the Israelis are facing is because this is such a, def a dense um, urban environment. And that's one of the reasons that um, th they need to conduct an integrated campaign, capitalizing on what the air element brings to inform the ground forces and naval forces uh, uh, to achieve the objectives that I outlined. Um, the other point I'd like to bring up um, here, uh, Joe, uh, that I don't see very much attention paid to. And that's that it's very important to understand that Hamas's use of civilians is human shields and misuse of protected sites like mosques and hospitals are war crimes in and of themselves. Now, at the same time, it's important to note that even if Hamas uses human shields, which they are, Israel is still bound by the principles of proportionality and have to take all feasible precautions to minimize harm to civilians. And they have a, a very strong history of doing that. But it doesn't mean that they cannot strike targets because of the presence of human shields. According to the Geneva Conventions, attack is allowed if the potential damage to civilians is not excessive in relation to the direct military advantage that's anticipated. So I don't want to get too into legalese, but the presence of human shields do not prevent an attack. Um, uh, even if they're conducting that attack, uh, uh, might have considerable media impact. Well, that's awfully important uh, for our listeners and our viewers to know, General, uh, you flew the F-15. As I mentioned, you have hundreds of combat hours. That's a jet that the Israelis fly, among others, uh, made here in the U.S. We only have a minute left, General. I just wonder if it's your view that this mission can be accomplished without completely leveling Gaza. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's an extraordinarily challenging um, endeavor that the Israelis are embarking upon. But it's one that one needs to understand um, Israel has fought limited wars with Hamas in the past, and those simply have not succeeded. So now they're faced with either overthrowing Hamas or rendering it uh, completely ineffective. Uh, and that is going to be very, very challenging. Uh, but the Israeli defense forces are extraordinarily competent, um, and they'll do everything they can to protect, civilian cas protect civilians. But at the same time, I think they're putting together an integrated operation that will be very effective in eliminating Hamas. And that's what they simply need to do because Hamas's actions have shown that they are pure evil and must be eliminated. 